Hey everybody, it's Meg from Books Off the Beaten Path, and I'm not doing a book review, I am doing a book tag. Yay! I love to get tagged, and so I have been tagged by Heather Reads, and this is like, this is the honesty, or the honest booktube tag. And I will be tagging the Mild Rumpus, and maybe somebody else. I don't know, I would tag Heather Reads, but she's already tagged me first, so... Anyway, I know at least I'm going to tag the Mild Rumpus because I love his channel so much. And I love Heather so much. Okay, so no book in particular. And I am going to answer these questions. These are the questions for the tag. And let's get started, shall we? Oh, wait. Look, someone left a white wine spritzer. got to take advantage of that when you find those lying around. Okay, number one, have you ever lied about reading a book? No, I have never lied about reading a book. That is not true. I just realized that I did. When I was in high school, I was supposed to read Wuthering Heights, and I just couldn't get through it, and so I did the cliff notes on that one. So if we're going to go back to high school, if you want to go back that far, yes, I have lied. I never read Wuthering Heights. And to this day, I've never read it. I just couldn't get into it. I just found Kathy and Heathcliff so annoying. But anyway, and psychotic. Question two. Have you ever avoided a book because of controversy around the content or the author? Um, I would say yes. Yes, I have. Um... I was going to read at one point, oh gosh, I don't even remember it. It was a book about American values, which I was very interested in. And, but it was written by a gentleman who was very prominent, now this was years ago, on Fox News. And it was a very, he was a very far right leaning very, very far right leaning. And so I really was interested in the topic, but I didn't get it because of the person who wrote it. I found so, it wasn't Tucker Carlson. Um, and I'm probably losing half of my people right now, but you know, I am middle center, center left, center left. Um, but anyway, I didn't get the book because of who wrote it. What was the guy's name? I can't even remember. But anyway, so yes, I did on that one. It was on American values. Have you ever been sent a book for free and not disclosed it? Look at the numbers on my channel. Nobody's sending me any anything free, ever. I never get anything free. Have you ever bought a book with no intention of reading it? No, no, I am not one of those people. I am very careful with what I buy because you know how I curate my collection. So, no, I've never bought a book without any intention of reading it. Have you ever been caught up in booktube drama? Yes, I have. Um, I made a video years ago. I shouldn't say years ago because I've only been on booktube for like three years, two or three years. But I made a video where I said, I don't believe these booktubers where they are saying they read 11 books a month. I, I don't believe that. And so I had a booktuber who I really liked. And I mean, I still really like her and everything like that. She contacted me and she found that very offensive. And she said that, you know, there's audiobooks and what, you know, there's longer books and shorter books and everything like that. And so I'm, I'm accusing people of lying when I say that. But I still don't buy it. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to add in audio books, that's fine. That's great. But 11 big hardcover books a month, not buying it. Sorry. Okay. Have you ever had a hate comment and did you respond? Yes. I had one hate comment and the comment was, "Your these videos are so bad. It's no wonder you're not getting any views. And so I wrote back, genuinely interested in why my videos were considered so bad. I'm listening. 
And I never heard from that person again. They never said another word to me after that because I really genuinely wanted to know what they thought of my videos and they never responded. So I guess they were just being mean. Um, have you ever made a video just because you knew it would get views? No, because I never think my videos get any views. I'm always constantly worried that I'm never gonna get any views on any of my videos. So therefore, I don't make a video thinking I'm going to get views. I make a video hoping I'm going to get views, praying I get views, but never it just like I know this will get views. I don't do that because um, I don't know how. If I knew how, I'd do it. Um, if you could go back to the beginning of your channel, what would you, would you do anything differently? No. I'm happy with what I've done. I'm happy with it. Are there any channels you wish you could be more like? Well, I love the Mild Rumpus, and part of that is because he lives in New York City, and he gets the opportunity to go and show us things and do things that I don't have the opportunity to do, like anti antiquarian book fairs and used bookstores and everything like that. And then I also like literary diversions for the same reason she lives in Edinburgh and she's wonderful and I love that. And then I also love Heather Reads because of the way Heather puts her picture. She puts her picture up in the corner of the screen and she shows pictures of other things and I don't know how to do that. And I think that would be really cute and really fun if I could figure out how to do that. So that's three that I can, would be more like. What's something you love about your channel? Well, I love the comments. I love the comments that I, guess on, that I get on my channel. I just, they make me so happy. So please leave a comment. Leave me a like, hit subscribe, but leave me a comment. Those are my favorites. And tag some people. Okay, I'm going to tag the Mild Rumpus and I don't know who else. If there's anybody else out there I could tag. I don't know. It's hot in Okie Dokie. My mom broke her ankle. Did I tell you that? Oh my God. It has been so crazy around here in my house with a lot of mom caring and everything like that. It has been so crazy. But hopefully she'll be getting better soon. I'm still reading Mary Roberts Reinhardt The Wall, which is excellent. It is excellent. It's everything I love about Mary Roberts Reinhardt. Oh, look, there's that white wine spritzer again. One more sip. All right. So as I said before, I will say again, give me a like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will check you later. Thanks, Heather.